Hello, and welcome to another episode of This, That, and the Other. Today I'm wearing the Ravens jersey. Uh, Ravens are obviously not going to be in a Super Bowl, didn't even make the playoffs this year, but hopefully through the draft they'll, re they'll draft some wide receivers and some more defensive players and get back to being a playoff caliber team and perhaps in the Super Bowl in the next few years. This Super Bowl is the first one played outdoors at a cold weather site, so the feedback at the end should determine the fate on whether they do more Super Bowls like this on these, these types of sites in the future. Matchup pretty good. Seattle Seahawks defense against the Denver Broncos offense. Kind of reminds me of the Denver or the um, Pittsburgh Dallas Super Bowls in the 1970s, the explosive Super Bowls. And should, should be should be an, a, a good a good game and be looking forward to seeing it. Today I'm going to be discussing uh, Fake Jan. Fake Jan is the girl that replaced Jan Brady on a show called The Brady Variety Hour, which pr premiered on November 28th of 1976 and went on from January to May of 1977. The girl that replaced Jan Brady's name was Jerry Rochelle, and here's a Here's a picture of what she looked like back at back in that time when she, when she was on the Brady Variety Hour, and here is a picture of what she what she looks like today. More recent more recent picture from like two two thousand eleven, and the show only nine nine episodes were were aired on the show. The original plan was for it to have a five-year run, and E. Plum said she could not possibly make a commitment to doing five years. She said she would do the pilot episode, but that would be it. So they replaced her with Jerry Rochelle. She was Jerry Rochelle was one of fifteen hundred girls that auditioned for that role, and she came in second. I don't know who came in first, but she ended up being on the show. The show started out with some girls dancing called the Crawfettes, and I guess they were patterned after the Mark the Rockettes uh, Radio City Music Hall. They would do the dancing and then jump in, jump into the pool. And the Brady's would, the way the storyline went, they moved out of their house, moved to some beach house, and um, Mike Brady gave up his architectural career and got into the enter entertainment business, and that's what, uh, what the family did. And they would they would sing various disco songs and sing and dance to disco music, where dis where disco outfits from from that era. Sherwood Schwartz, who produced the Brady Bunch TV show, was was not involved with with this show. It ran every it was supposed to run every fifth week, and there there would be um, conflicts with other other shows scheduling. So the show was was very inconsistent as far as, as when it when it actually showed on the air. There were times when Florence Henderson and Robert Reed would come on at the beginning. It would be scheduled to be on and, and they would say, We're not Brady Variety Hour is not going to be shown tonight. Stay tuned. We'll we'll be we'll be back. Well that that caught that inconsistency really really killed the ratings on the show. So the show only only at last it was only a nine show show run. Uh, the show had celebrity guests and musical guests. Number show number one had Tony Randall and Donnie Marie Osmond. Two had Lee and Farrah Fawcett Majors and Captain Cool and the Kongs. Number three had Milton Berle and Tina Turner. Number four Vincent Price and H.R. Puffin stuff. Number five Sharo and the Hudson Brothers. Number six Sharo, Edgar Bergen and the singer Melanie. Number seven had Red Fox, Robert Hedges from Welcome Back, Cotter, and the Ohio Players. The What's Happening Kids were on episode number eight and Rick Dees, and Paul Williams and Lynn Anderson were on episode number nine. It, the show, from what I was, what I was, I've been reading, was, was called one of the worst worst shows to ever air on television. I, I um, I saw a, a couple a couple of episodes and. Yeah, it was it was okay. I, they um, they did this. They did a lot of the dis disco dancing, and then they they did they did various skits on on the show, and and some of the skits were with the celebrity celebrity guests. A little bit about um, Jerry Rochelle herself. She 
started out in the production playing Gretel and the Sound of Music. She did 40 commercials throughout her, her time, and she was did commercials for Mattel Toys, and they retired her from Mattel Toys in 1971. She, was, she did appearances on the shows Gunsmoke, The Interns, Apple's Way, The Bold Ones, and she did the pilot for um, Facts of Life. She was supposed to play the part of Blair Warner, but she had a contract with General Mills, so she she never so she could not do both so that, that piled episode that was filmed for facts of life never aired and she was on another show called Renee and the proteins she sang and played the guitar and she performed at USO o clubs Magic Mountain Knott's Berry Farm Harris Club Palomino Club and she toured the United States and Montre Montreal with the singer Rene Samard, Rene Samard. And she also performed with Red Skelton. And she was one of Sammy Davis Jr.'s kids performing in Lake Tahoe. She, her main interest was country music, and she was on a show called Pop Goes a Country, filmed at the Grand Ole Opry in 1977. She also made appearances in um, on the Mike Douglas show in 19, 1977 and also that, that year, Donnie and Marie. She put out an album called 1200 Riverside on November 1st of, of 2000, 2011, I guess, you know, various, various songs that she's been, been involved with. But that's a little information about Jerry Rochelle. I, a lot of you probably yeah, are either t too young, young to even know about the show's existence or, or never saw the show. It, like I said, it only, it only lasted nine episodes. I did see a couple of them, but it's, it's, part, it's a part of history. I do remember a girl, that girl um, replacing Jan on the, on the Variety Hour, kind of interesting interesting thing trying to you know make her make her fit into into the story but um just wanted to get get that information across and thanks for watching